Well, hello Capricorn and welcome back to P.O.A. Lore where we help you to find the beauty in all things. Um, thank you for stopping back here at my channel even though I had a little bit of abrupt break here in May. Um, had to put right some issues within the family and I am um, honored to be back here in June to offer you um, information that you need to know about. Um, and opportunities to sidestep a couple of landmines, if you will. Um, so this is going to serve for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, okay, or wherever you have Capricorn very heavy in your chart. Um, we are um, still in the midst of three major energies that have gone through Pluto in retrograde, Saturn is still in retrograde, Mercury is still in retrograde. Mercury ends here at the end of June, but both Saturn and Pluto are going to be with us until October. We also had to navigate the energy of that full moon lunar eclipse in Sagittarius that happened um, a few weeks back. And this upcoming um, week of the 10th is going to be the energy of the new moon solar eclipse in the sign of Gemini. That is a lot on its own. <laughs> so here on the 6-6 gateway, sorry about that. Um, you know, we're asking you to take a look, utilize that energy of the Mercury in retrograde to kind of review where you're at at this particular moment as far as perspective, because you do need to be able to, with this full, uh, excuse me, with the new moon, um, really be at a point with all of these different things and the asks of the universe to be able to accept the changes that are coming up or start to make the change. You've got to start, you know, um, doing your part in eclipsing the things out in your world that no longer serve you. So as we have done in the past, we're going to go ahead and use the energy of the sacred geometry to pull forth the entire content for the remainder of, um, well, current state until um, June 12th. And then, of course, we're going to use um, a different tarot deck to lay down the details for all of the days of the week. But we are going to try to pull in one um, quick card to see what we have for the remainder energy here of the 6-6 six, six day um, Sunday. Um, hopefully, you guys are going to be able to catch this. If not, that's okay. You can just pay attention to the energies and then you can validate on your own whether or not the content that's coming out um, from prior to current mm. It is not all of those. I apologize. That fat finger, that one, is um, something that resonated with you. And, of course, as always, if for some reason you do not resonate 100% with the content that's in this particular reading, make sure that you're looking at your sun, your moon, and your rising and or north node. Again, wherever you have Capricorn very heavy in your chart, okay? All right. All right, Archangel Anael, we are ready to do this. Thank you. Unlimited potential, consciously creating reality. This is a master card. This is card number 10, which means that there is an ending of a cycle for you. And what naturally happens after you have a 10 is you get to the one as you start over with the energetics, meaning the universe is saying to you, you have everything that you needed to have learned so that you can take this new energy into the one. I love that. Unlimited potential. Wow. That is fantastic. Okay, so give me the card for um, the remainder of the energy for today, 6-6, six, six, as I'm recording and trying to um, upload this. Thank you. Hey, Page of Swords energy. Um, this energy is air energy, of course. It's Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. If you're looking for the different signs that are in your midst or all the components that are in your chart. But the Page of Swords is trying to bring forth new information and clarity. Okay, so what is it that we need to have a little bit of clarity from if we are looking at unlimited potential um, as to where we're going to be with net new one energy? Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, six of wands. Okay, so there's clarity because there's been victory after a, a specific challenge or concern that has been um, from the immediate past up until current. Okay, whoa, and we are going to take those two energies, and we also have the Ten of Pentacles. So, um, 
Three of Cups energy. We also have the Hangman energy and then the Ten of Pentacles. I get it. It's supposed to go like this. Thank you so much. So the Six of Wands, like I said, is victory after a battle. Um, Three of Cups is being able to now appreciate and celebrate some of those different things that came forward. The ask or why the hangman is looking at the Ten of Pentacles is because you know that you're at the end of an old cycle and things are going to change based upon whatever activity happened here. And you're being asked to go in with that hangman energy um, to, that's the Neptunian Piscean energy, to really kind of review and reflect on whatever challenge would have created that issue they're asking to take that learning at that particular moment like i said that learning that comes forward is going to be able to support you with whatever net new thing comes up so when you're in in the energy of the hangman um, it gives you the opportunity to clear out any confusion it helps you analyze any dreams that are coming forward um, it, it also enhances the intuition those little red flags that might have popped off for you within the past i'd say several weeks um, and at the end of the day, what it does allow you to do is get more in touch with your spirituality, your your higher self, your oversoul, your guides, and that nature when you are taking advantage of this. So you're reviewing at this point what's going on with this Ten of Pentacles moment. And Ten of Pentacles wanting, wanting to be able to have not only the independence of the Nine of Pentacles, but additional at this particular moment to dote and have something for the future, okay? So you're just needing to gather that content at this particular moment so that you can move forward. So let's just put these little guys right here so that we can refer to them if we need to. And I am going to go um, in the reverse order. I don't know why they're asking me to do that, but these two naturally go together. But um, yeah, well, it's because he's looking at it this way. Um, something is going to pop out of this, that's for sure, that we need to be aware of. But regardless, coming up with the six, um, coming up with that... Um, being seen head above and shoulders above the rest after this battle that you've gone through receiving this clarity as very very important so let's dig into the energy for next week what do we have for our capricorn sun moon rising or heavy in their chart <laughs> for monday well we've got the king of cups in the reverse position so what this is indicating to me right after snap is that you're not quite emotionally available to be able to do a next step and that's okay it's all right to be in this hangman energy to kind of review all the details that are necessary um it also is possible that there is a um a water sign in your um midst cancer scorpio or pisces that is um going to need to be fleshed out here okay so that is the energy of monday give me the energy for tuesday please for our capricorns thank you thank you thank you what do our capricorns need to be aware of mm, nope i want you to come out I'm not trying to chase thank you thank you thank you Ooh, thank you yeah the world in the reverse position is indicating that there's a little bit of unfinished business that needs to take place um the world will um also indicates the ending of a cycle but if it's in the reverse position it naturally is saying there's one more thing that real quick that needs to take place so that we can turn and we can start the new wheel again the end unlimited potential all right show me the energy for wednesday for our capricorns please oh thank you ah eight of swords so the Eight of Swords element is very cool in that it's mini devil, and I call it mini devil or mini Capricorn energy, <laughs> even though it's sword element here, okay? And that's because there isn't anybody sitting around her. There's nobody that's holding her there. This is all mental energy. And these are stinking thinking kind of thoughts, if you will. Um, this, that, and the other thing. Oh my gosh, oh my whoa, that type of a deal. But at any moment, you know, um, she could get up she could decide to stand up and just literally walk away. There is nothing holding her in place. There is nobody there but herself. So that's the energy on Wednesday. Um, let us take a look to see what is going on on the solar eclipse energy on Foy's day. All right. We have major cancer energy. We have the chariot. Now the chariot is manifesting itself here in the reverse position, which means, yeah, you might need to hold on to your horses or there might be some over aggressive uh, movement at this particular moment or that you're not feeling necessary necessarily balanced in some in some sort of a way in order to move forward so let's go ahead with that friday saturday sunday energy just to see what else we can come up with to cap off that weekend and then we'll go in with our clarifiers to see what else they have to say and pull out for our capricorns thank you so much universe thank you thank you thank you Woohoo! well we got a few so we're gonna take the few 
Um, 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 oops. Okay. Um, I dropped one. Let me go get it. Here we go. Okay. First card. I think you guys can see it. There's more content that needs to be developed here and unpacked. There's that Ace of Swords again. We got an Ace of Swords. Now, we had the Page of Swords, which is the beginning of someone trying to come through and provide you that clarity. Now the clarity is coming. Um, that clarity is coming very, very swiftly because that clarity is going to allow you to get to the Six of Swords position, which is now taking the guidance and taking you out of this troubled past and into a calmer state of affairs, which is going to include collaboration with um, uh, an individual so that the King of Pentacles can come through and give this blessing. It's a complete and total, um, well... It's, it's, it's complete and total security is what it basically boils down to, whether that's physical dollars and cents or a station or a position or something of that particular nature. Now, the fact that the strength card actually shows up within this weekend energy does say that this challenge, uh, challenged activity that you had here does seem to have cleared itself out. Okay, so the strength in the reverse position does mean that you have accepted the healing and the content that's coming through with whatever deep thoughts it is that you've got going on here. Okay, so that is where the unlimited potential comes in. You've, you've, you're doing a lot of upcoming work this week, Capricorn. So congratulations, because this is a lot. All right, let's understand a little bit more for Capricorn why the King of Cups is here. Why is the King of Cups in the reverse position for our Capricorn this upcoming week? Thank you. Well, we've got Major Arcana of Aries sitting here, the Emperor. This is self-will, okay? Organization. Step one, step two, step three. Getting everything in alignment. So it is possible. <laughs> Regarding that Wheel of Fortune. Um, Wheel of Fortune, luck, or second opportunities that are coming through. So... I do get the feeling that this is you in the energetic moment that is not necessarily capable of being able to deliver that next big emotional push based upon everything that you had to go through here, okay? And that's okay because your will about what it is that you want to do moving forward with this Wheel of Fortune is evident, okay? Second chances. Now... Now we go back into the Knight of Cups. So what happens is you eventually are going to get through this. Um, the Knight of Cups is going to step forward. You're going to end up doing a lot of work within this particular last part of the weekend here and into that Monday. And where you are feeling a little bit deflective here when it comes to your independence, this is where you're getting ready to offer. It's like you're offering your own self um, a reminder of what it means to be in the full Nine of Pentacles moment. So the full Nine of Pentacles moment is complete independence for, for sure. Not only do you have the six pentacles that are helping you to balance your in your in and your outbound energy, but you have enough to be able to give to other uh, other individuals. This is complete gratitude for what it is that you have at this particular moment. So whatever it is that you were going through here was very, very tough. Um, but it does appear as though that's the conversation that you're having with your inner self. Okay, just going to give that a quick shuffle and let's hit. The, let's go ahead and hit this um, world card. I want to take another shuffle. If that card is meant to come back out, it will. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. We're going to put those back in. Thank you. And we're going to give it another quick shuffle just to make sure that there isn't any other surprise in this deck right quick. All right, there we go. All right, so thank you, universe, for that information. To explain to me why the world is sitting in the reverse position. What is the unfinished business that our Capricorn needs to be aware of? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anytime. <laughs> Why does Capricorn have the world in the reverse position on Tuesday? Mm. Hierophant in, uh, energy in the reverse position. So this is Taurus energy, and this is all about value. So there's assignment of value that I think is related to this Wheel of Fortune and this being independent that shows up here on that Monday. There is something that you have to be able to do with this content, okay? What's going on with the Hierophant here in our Capricorn world, this Taurus energy? Woo! Sorry. I know for a fact that it is this Two of Wands. Thank you. Um, and I am going to put the remainder of this ginormous story back in the deck, and we're going to um, start with one and go to two. Now, I can't be... I would have to reverse the video to, to confirm whether it came in the upright or in the reverse position, but the Two of Wands is the energy of 
making a decision or having an opportunity to go left or to go right. Now, when the two of wands shows up, um, there really is no wrong way that you can make a decision. You've got a couple of different options and those options are going to bring you to ultimately the place that you're supposed to be. The roads happen to be a little bit different, but they show up at the same point. Okay, so there is a decision that needs to be made and perhaps that's why the Hierophant is, is sitting here at this particular moment. The Hierophant is an official position. There are keys for you to unlock and unravel so that you can get to this next place. And so perhaps, you know, the world is in this not quite finished business because there's a different choice or a challenge point that's up for you. And only you are going to be able to unlock the key for yourself at that particular moment. I'm going to give this another quick shuffle. These guys really want to jump out and I'm trying to go very, very slowly with this because there's a lot of content here and we have a lot of material to get through. So excuse me i just want to be as on point as i possibly can explain to me what's going on with this two of wands position what official position needs to be clarified what is the unfinished business thank you mm. um ace of cups so this is now involving someone else that very clearly could be a taurus it doesn't have to be okay it literally does not have to be the other thing that it could be is yourself as Capricorn in this world energy needing to understand because the world does represent um, Capricorn energy that um, you definitely have the keys to what it is to make this choice, which is going to be able to restore you. So I think that is exactly what is going on here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that validates that the King of Cups is you in this role. And there you are. <laughs> we are concluded. Thank you, universe, for validating that. So Capricorn, um, you're the only person that can make this decision. But if you're fearful of making the wrong one, you cannot. When the two of wands presents itself, you cannot literally make a wrong decision. You just have to make one so that the universe can start opening the doors in front of you. Does that make sense? Okay. So now let's find out what's going on with this Wednesday energy with the eight of swords. Then if this mini devil energy is there, what are we going to do with this energy? Okay. I had a flipper. Knight of Swords for our Capricorn on Wednesday, please. Ooh, Page of Pentacles. Hmm. The beginning of a new financial um, or, yeah, well, it's, it's something new that Pentacles represent all of the physical things that we need to be able to have. So a little bit of trepidation. The page not necessarily coming through. Again, this is earth and energy that's here. So it can be yourself, Capricorn, just trying to get to the very beginning stage of walking away from something that you know is no longer serving you so that you can grab this page of pentacles because that's exactly what she's looking at. She's looking at this little page coming through going, gee, I don't know. The star card, though, is here talking to you about the fact that there is something that's out there for you. So you need to put your wishes and your wants in uh, out there in the universe if you haven't already done that, okay? So the star is also very much a healing card, okay? That's the major uh, Aquarius um, energy, and those are all about principles. So what's the principle of the thing? What is, is To me, is the words that they're telling me to tell you. What's the whole principle of the thing at this particular moment? What else can the star reveal for our Capricorn? It's this one. Thank you. Ha! And so yeah, so you just have to make this, this, this decision because now the world is here and the upright telling you that you need to tell the universe and you need to be willing to walk towards what it is that you want. Okay. You have to do the work. Um, it is called light work, um, but even light workers need to get up and do the work. You still have to meet universe halfway. So talk to me about why this cancer, this cancerian energy is here. This chariot is here um, on this Thursday energy for the Sagittarius. This karma, it's really kind of a karmic card. Um, it's your driving force, right? It's your driving force. Why do we feel as though we're not capable of, of, of driving these horses uh, in, forward? What's going on with Capricorn here on this big day mm. entrepreneurship perhaps so like i said the thing about it is is that when you get to this ring of fire this new moon solar eclipse that's coming here in gemini that dualistic nature okay now is the time now is the time now is the time you must make the change or you must accept the change that is coming for you because it's going to be beautiful energy for the long term 
manifesting what it is that you want for the long term and being grateful for the things that got you to this point so that you can now move forward again unlimited potential for your future so the queen of wands energy is all about passion it's all about entrepreneurial spirit okay it's about utilizing the energy of the divine feminine in that creation um, to bring forth the ideas it's doing the work the queen of wands does the work okay so that's what we're getting here for you <clears throat> what else do we need to know about this queen of wands is there anything else ha <laughs> we are concluded i said what i said it literally is all about um, you making the decision and doing the physical work. So when the universe pro provides an open and a close like that, that's done. What I said is what I said. All right, let's move forward. Um, Ace of Swords, clarity, new idea. What are we going to get on that particular Friday? Woohoo! We are going to receive options and you are going to have to make a judgment call about the, one of those options. When the Seven of Cups comes through, all it is talking about is a plethora of options. We're going to move these a little bit off to the side here. And you are going to be able to uh, discern what is the most important thing for you. The clarity is coming. Wield that sword to the best of your ability um, so that you can make the best um, call for yourself. But already indicates to me with a little bit of self-clarification without me using the littles that you are going to make the right decision. That's basically what I'm getting. You're going to make the right decision and it's going to have something to do with collaboration. It's going to have something to do with expansion. It's going to have something to do with teaching and learning and this apprenticeship energy, if you will. And that is going to provide the long-term support that you're looking for. And where you feel as though you um, have been challenged in the past, you're getting through this. So give me one card for the Six of Swords, taking the guidance and moving forward swiftly into a new direction out of challenging times and waters. Huh, I guess I have to call it air with this big balloon here. <laughs> where are we at? Is there anything else on the Six of Thank You? All right, what do we have here? Six of Swords energy. Yeah, it has something to do with lack of work or lack of momentum. Eight, eight here. This is very much, um, I want you to see that. Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. You feel as though you should have information immediately. You have to be the one to drive this at this particular moment because it's not going to show up the way that you want it. You're going to have to do the work. The universe isn't going to give you anything. They'll work with you all day, but you got to do the work. So there's an apprenticeship in here. That's expansion. That also indicates the beginnings of new stability. You have to be able to do your part. Who are you in this trifecta that's here? Okay, where are you at? Is there anything else on this three of pentacles for our Capricorn? Woohoo, thank you. Yeah, page of wands. There you go. Fresh ideas, fresh momentum, finally making the decision that you have to be involved in making the change yourself. Youthful enthusiasm for a net new project. Talk to me about this King of Pentacles for our Capricorn. Thank you. King of Swords energy, clarity, clarity, discernment, but also using your heart in this, not just um, knowing that you've gone through all of the emotional situations that you needed to go through in order for this ultimate clarity to come through okay is there anything else on this strength card Ooh. wow okay we're gonna take it because they said to okie dokie here we go strength from not feeling as though you were going to meet the individuals or the parties that would um have um, helped you get to this next particular level, okay? You've overcome the fear of doing your part in order to meet spirit halfway to bring what you wanted um, and being able to walk away from something that no longer served you or spending that extra time trying to redefine. There we are, we're at the King of Pentacles again. Again, it is possible that you do have a Taurus in your midst, Capricorn. It doesn't have to be, it is possible because the justice card also shows up, which is Venus energy and where you were overthinking a little bit um, with this nine of swords energy, overthinking, um, or not able to sleep, um, feeling anxiety or those different types of things. Um, there's no justification for this. You are doing exactly what it is that you're supposed to do and you're going to get through this swimmingly. Okay. Wow, that is a lot of energy, you guys. But I am so excited for you because all of this, again, leads to the unlimited potential, okay? 
You're consciously creating your reality, but you always, always, always have to do your part. Your angel is asking you to realize that your third eye chakra is going to be having a lot of activity going on here, and it is safe for you to see the energy of love in all of its forms, including any angels or auras or visions that it is that you're seeing. The other thing that they want me to denote for you is in these times of this mental confusion, these messages that are going to be coming through, and they're telling me to talk about this page of swords it is possible that in tonight's dream state that you are going to be receiving content and download from higher realm that is going to give you the other pieces and parts that i may not have been able to articulate for you right now and it's you should feel grateful about that and not be scared about it i'm i'm you've got to be able to just express and tell universe if what it is that you're ready to accept from them but i have to tell you this they're never going to give you something that you are not ready to receive they're never going to set you up in a position where um, you are not going to be able to receive the content that is uh, available and most um, influential for what it is that you need to have. They're not going to like start showing up. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're not going to be at the breakfast table while you're having coffee trying to have a conversation with you if that's not where you're at. However, they will always speak to you in dream state because that's your most natural receptive time. Okay, so I was asked to bring out this particular deck in order to do additional clarifiers this is from the beyond lemuria deck here okay thank you and <clears throat> the messages here from the beyond lemuria deck are that there are new blueprints yes there's new blueprints for you to take advantage of and all you have to do is continue to make the choice you got to do the work for these new blueprints that will support you and then the other card that pops out is gracious receptivity hello universe really wants to be here to support you with that and so when you start to make the decision and you take this content in um be grateful and be gracious about the fact that they're trying to communicate with you all right so be open to hearing what your spirit guides have to say even if it's in your dream time you can ask them for signs and signals you can be very specific about the sign or signal that's going to make you feel most comfortable if you feel like you need to see a multitude of blue butterflies over the day in order to make sure that spirit is with you and that you know that they're there with you then ask for that i don't know if it needs to be a skateboard ask for a skateboard i mean they're going to give you whatever you want however it resonates with you right but Gracious receptivity, they are they want you to also be grateful for the content that they're giving you because it's really going to set you up in a, in a fantastic um, arena. New blueprints are coming. Unlimited potential for what it is that you need to do next. I love this. Um, the other thing that I wanted to bring to your attention is that um, 10, the gracious re, uh, receptivity, matches up very specifically with this unlimited potential. And that 38 reduces to 11, which means new blueprints. That is the 1-1 um, 1111 gateway um, where they're trying to show you very clearly the steps that you need to stay within in order to receive um, your best and highest good so just call on them you know all right so now we're going to go in with the angel oracle real quick just to see what they want to be able to offer our capricorn and then we're going to go back in with the um, sacred geometry and see if there's any other content that i can pull out for you that i was not able to articulate so far okay here we go capricorn thank you thank you thank you there it is yep intuition and downloads they want and are trying to connect with you um they are trying to connect with you they want to be able to connect with you and the best way for you to be able to do that is just say hey i'm ready to receive what other information it is that you want to be able to share with me at this particular moment there's a lot in that there's a lot to unpack in that but you guys have gone through so much and it is naturally time for this transition so that you can begin again it's time for a new cycle it's the new thing that needs to happen for you so let it happen and ask for the help that you need okay so let's go in with this master card which is card 10 again the end of a cycle which naturally will lend itself to the beginning which is a one and um see what other content i can pull out for this along with this activation should you want to take advantage of crystal medicine give me just a moment and i'll share that content with you however consciously creating reality is and your statement would be I am able to reach my unlimited potential by releasing old unwanted energies and allowing for new energies to enter my life that will benefit me on every level of my being, right? Mental, physical, spiritual. I am able to reach my unlimited potential by releasing old unwanted energies and allowing for new energies to enter my life that will benefit me on every level of my being. I am able to reach my unlimited potential 
by releasing old unwanted energies and allowing for new energies to enter my life that will benefit me on every level of my being and so it is okay this card is asking you basically to assess which part of your life feels stuck and needs the clearing and i'm very clearly seeing that here on about that particular wednesday so when the solar eclipse comes through and we're talking about eclipsing energies out of our lives that no longer support us and our best and highest good, it is the energy of not feeling as though you can move forward with this new passion project. That's basically what it is. Okay. There's something that you want entrepreneurial energy. Even if you're not starting your own business, doing something with that entrepreneurial energy is basically what I'm getting for you right now. And life is going to change for you. It's happening, sweetheart, and you need to be able to clear the path in order for those new energies to come in to support that. Basically, that's what it boils down to. Now, if you want to take advantage of a crystal medicine that would be able to help further your um, uh, this, this progress as you go through and, and asking spirit to support you, you know, then what you can call into yourself is Shungite, any platonic solid, a Herkimer diamond, or Malachite, because that is going to help support the divine feminine with that Queen of Wands, that Malachite energy for sure. And, you know, what you put out into the universe ultimately is what you get, okay? So what you put out also comes back magnified, all right? It's the natural law. You are the master of your own thought and your own perception and there is a way for you to create the unlimited potential within your life if you believe that you can do it then you absolutely will and then of course if you believe the opposite that you cannot well then the universe is going to say oh you don't want this well we're going to take it away but they're trying to tell you right here is that they're trying to connect with you and communicate with you so that you can be in the best position to receive this during this eclipse energy now the only final thing that i want to be able to say about that before i close is that Everyone is going to receive a lot of enthusiasm, uh, energy, energetic enthusiasm when it comes to this solar eclipse that's going to happen. Even though you might not be able to see it, you would, most of the United States is, is not going to be able to see it um, unless you're like on the way eastern coast like Boston or New York, whatever the case may be. And then on that, it would be super early in the morning. Just Google it. But the energy is still going to be there. Here's the thing. This energy is going to be bringing up lots of things that are naturally going to be cleared and eclipsed out of your life. And in its place are going to be all those beautiful dreams that you've, you've had for a very, very long time. You have to use your discernment, though. Follow the advice of spirit and take with, uh, take with yourself what it is that they're trying to share with you. Because this Neptunian energy that will be like the confusion, the hangman itself, is going to manifest itself back again at the end of the month when Neptune goes into retrograde and it's going to be a reality bites moment so take the advantage of doing it now so at the end of the month it won't be a challenge for you and that is the best advice that i can tell you from spirit right now now um capricorn i really appreciate you stopping back in to receive these messages i hope that they resonated if they did make sure that you give it a like a share comment that supports me um if you did not again make sure that you're taking a look at your sun moon rising or um any of the other uh, areas that are super heavy in your chart otherwise i'm available for personals all that detail is in the con in the description box below for my contact thank you capricorn take this heed this well you're going to go in a great fabulous position and i know you can do it i can't wait to talk to you towards the middle of june i will talk to you later bye for now